Now Mr. Lover Lover She call me Mr. Bombastic Tell me fantastic Touch me on me box She says I'm uh, Mr. Ro Romantic Call me fantastic Touch me on me box She says I'm uh, Mr. Ro Smooth What on people? It is I, Sour Baus. And I've got an RU match against my good friend 92 Pianist. His link will be down below. And for some reason, I feel like it's been forever since I've narrated to you guys or uploaded, even though I uploaded, what, maybe a few days or hours ago. I know, I've just been really busy. I mean, even struggling to even battle these days, but that's what university does to you. <laughs> anyway, look at the team preview real quick. The only real threats I'm looking at is the Haunter since Gallade is choice banded adamant and it can easily plough through anything on this team so if I get Haunter out of the way I can just spam close combats like I'm a Lati Ose using Draco Meteor. So yeah, that's why I'm going to lead off with my Gallade and he's probably going to lead off with either Drapion or the Rhyperia so that's why. So, without further ado, let's get on with the show. Now, as I said, I'm going to lead off my choice band Gallade, as he's going to lead off with Rhyperia. Now, we, me and Pianist have actually battled quite a few times, so I know he's going to predict me to predict his switch. So, that's why I'm going to go straight for a close combat, since I'm not in fear of the Haunter coming, since I could be life orbed, he doesn't know that yet, so I could just easily take him up with the Shadow Sneak. But he still lives this adamant choice band of close combat, which is absolutely ridiculous. As he switches out into his Blastoise, I am not sure why. It would have been better just to death order his Rhyperia, as that would have been the best best option. Since now I've done almost half, well, over half with that to that Blastoise, as he's going to switch into his Haunter, realizing that I am choice locked. So now, because he has the Haunter out, he's going to double switch into his Dragon, which has the superpower, predicting my Persia switching, as I am immune to the Shadow Ball, being a normal type, but I am going to predict him to predict that, and opt to switch out into my Wormadan, as he's going to go for a Substitute, as I'm just going to lay, lay up my rocks. So now here, this is where it's going to get really annoying, as I'm going to go for the Jarrow Ball, Unfortunately it's not enough to break his sub as Dragon is really slow as he's just going to keep on phasing me out with the Dragon Tails and I would rather not have any of my guys take collateral damage because of the Dragon Tail because Dragon does have a pretty good attacking stats. So he's just going to keep on phasing me out until I say enough is enough and I get phased out into my Persian and I'm just going to have to take some collateral damage as I'm going to go for the fake out finally ending the cycle since this that was just annoying as hell but thankfully I do live to put um, the Dragon Tail here since your version will do some work later on you'll see as I get switched out into my Rotom he goes for Sucker Punch I do predict that and go for the trick so he cannot do that substitute Dragon Tail rubbish anymore as I'm going to go for the Will-O-Wisp further crippling that Dragon as I also get his Rocky Helmet <laughs> which actually hurts him which is hilarious actually as I'm going to get Dragon Tailed out into my Ludicolo because it's tricked and scarfed and burns that thing is completely useless so I know it's not going to switch out as I'm free to just go for the Ice Beam so right now he is going to switch out into his Drapion I'm free to just surf away since number one he does have a Gashadon in the wings but I do have my Grass Stab which will easily Oko it so he can't risk me predicting that and number two I'm not fearing him to have the super effective cross poison since a poison stab on Drapion is not exactly conventional it's, it'll be pretty weird basically and most are either the defensive sets or the SD sets which consist of Crunch, Earthquake and Aqua Tail as he's just gonna whirlwind me out into my cool fish. I predict his taunt uh, so I'm not gonna bother get out some toxic spikes I'm just going to try and waterfall this thing since the only thing that I would like to have toxic will be the Gashadon, but I have Wormadon for that. So as he's just going to knock off my Black Sludge, it doesn't really matter as I'm just going to go for the one last waterfall to KO. As he brings in his Haunter just to wreck me with a Thunderbolt. Gulfish is pretty good defensively, well only thanks to Intimidate, but special defensively not so much. 
So now that I've used Quillfish as pivot fodder, I'm going to bring in Gallade. I'm just going to go for a safe Shadow Sneak. There's no reason for me to try and predict at this moment in time since I'm in a very comfortable position. As he's going to death fodder his Rhyperior, good move on his part. As he's going to bring in his Gashadon. And I can't risk getting burned with Gallade since Gallade will be the clutch to this match. Since thanks to me tricking the freaking Haunter, I have no way to outspeed it unless I get a rain dance with my Ludicolo. As I gotta bring my Wormadan as goes for the Yawn, which is quite surprising, but thankfully I now that I know that I am gonna just stay in. Hopefully live a scold, which I do, and go for Toxic, so now I've got sleep fodder. So now that I do have some sleep fodder, I'm going to have to save my worm down for later. So this will give me the opportunity to switch into my Ludicolo to 4 times resist the stab scolds. Thankfully I do not get a burn, although it wouldn't have mattered even if he did, since I still would have lived it. But just nice for restore damage, as I'm just going to go for the safe Giga Drain. All it's got left is the Gashadon, the Blastoise, and the Haunter, so... Go for the safe grass stab is easily the best move, as he just death fodders his Blastoise, as it's the most useless thing to him on the team. As this will give him a free opportunity to switch out into his Haunter, which I'm assuming is Choice Scarfed. As he goes for the stab Shadow Ball, which is that will just allow me to get a free switch into my own Pokemon, my Persian, as I'm going to go for the fake out since he can't stay in, since he is Choice Locked into it. But probably he. <laughs> this set is quite strange actually since I really want to use this set. So I'm going to go for the fake out. And then next turn I am going to go for the Silk Scarf Last Resort. So that's 140 base power plus stab. And that's easily going to wreck this Gashadon since usually they are especially defensive. And I'm just happy <laughs> that I was able to use this since this was my first match with it. But alas, all good things must come to an end as Haunter just kills me off with the Thunderbolt. Meaning I can finally wrap this match up with a choice banded adamant shadow sneak to this haunter and that is the game so good game there pianist check him out his link will be down below he's actually probably one of the first YouTube friends I made when I started on the sweet and sour Pokemon battle YouTube channel and also thank you very much for almost 150 subscribers I'm on 147 at this moment in time so yeah, I guess thank you. I don't know why you like my stuff, but I'm glad you enjoy. And I've also got a bit of a present for you, I guess, since... Well, some of that made me laugh, since if you didn't know, or you've come from Sophie, yeah, Complexi, Complexi's channel, basically I did a guest narration, since she's doing a stereotypical guest narration week, and I was the black guy, or black British, if you haven't, can't tell by the accent. And some of, the, some, some of them, they didn't take it so well because, you know, ignorance is bliss, I guess. <laughs> but uh, then I got this comment, so enjoy. So, YouTube channel Game Freak 14. Subject title, Faggot. He types, You're a fucking fag, and I will report your video as racist content and get your channel deleted. It's a good thing you live in the UK, because I know you're too much of a bitch to go to actual era with real black people and say those things you would get shot in a heartbeat. Full stop. YouTube channel Sour Bows. Subject title, Reply to Faggot. Not a faggot, lol. Also, what does me living in the UK have anything to do with it, lol? Question mark. I do live in a community with real black people because, you know, I am black. And we call each other NIGGER <laughs> all the time. Why? Because it's just a made up word. In context, it may be offensive, but those black people that find it offensive means that they think of themselves as lesser value than anyone else. The fact that you said I'd get shot in a heartbeat tells me that you're, number one, Ignorance of the real world and watch too much MTV. Number two, that you're not even black and care way too much. Wow. Learn to laugh at yourself. Doing, doing so will show that you're confident, strong-minded, and you enjoy life more. Goodbye. I don't have haters, only fans in denial.